Hey YouTube family, it's your girl Victoria McGee and I'm back again with another video. So recently I've noticed that I've been posting like a few videos but I've actually noticed that I haven't actually done like a get to know me kind of tag and so today I thought I would do the Christian girl tag. So I've been searching YouTube and I've noticed that there's a little tag going around about getting to know more about Christian girls. So. I myself am a Christian, so I thought maybe I can do this tag too. So we'll be getting right into the questions now. So the first question is, how long have you been saved and when did you become saved? Um, I basically grew up in a Christian home. My mother is an evangelist and she's basically been like running revivals and doing services since I was like a baby. So I basically grew up knowing Jesus, but the time that they actually got saved, I was probably around 10. Um, my parents just got a divorce and I wanted to experience God for myself going through the pain of that and having to experience like my parents splitting up. God was like basically my only resource. And so I think at that moment I had an encounter with God. It was late at night. I was with my mom downstairs in the kitchen actually. And we started singing, I'm a friend of God. And I think that night, I think, yeah, I really experienced God and I was about 10. What is your favorite Bible verse and what does it mean to you? It sounds kind of cliche, but honestly, my favorite Bible verse is Philippians 4.13. It says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And growing up, I was not the smartest kid in school. I made honor roll, but it was like the purity struggle of just to get through my classes and my courses, just to make that B or that A. So having to read that verse, it honestly got me through so much. Like literally, I was like, anyone else can do this I can do this and if I can do this through Christ I'm definitely gonna get the job done so that verse has spoken to me through so many different situations and it's honestly my favorite verse right now so this is what is your favorite Christian song and why um, I have a lot of Christian songs right now but um, currently my favorite song probably has to be um, I gotta find it. So my favorite worship song right now is My Worship from Phil Thompson. And honestly, uh, right now, the things I'm going through in life since like uh, graduating school and like trying to find a job, like I already work now, but trying to find the job like in my field, it's just been so hard. I've been like so stressed out trying to like get my life in order when I haven't really been looking to God. And so I've noticed that like my worship needs to be geared more towards Christ and that way he can solve all my problems. So honestly, when I sing this song, it gets me so like settled in my spirit. Like I'm just like, I'm ready to just take on the day. So, and I'm able to like pray more and you know, worship God more with this song. So honestly, this song right now is probably the hit. So my next question is, what is your favorite Christian book? And um, I don't really have a Christian book, but I know that as a child growing up, the favorite series I used to um, read was Christy Miller and like Sierra Jensen and a couple of others. It was a Robin Jones Gunn uh, series and someone bought it for me when I was a little girl and I've just been keeping up with them ever since I was like 16. But other than that, the Bible too. So yeah, a favorite Christian book, the Bible, and then that one. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about church? Honestly, everything. From the time I wake up to get dressed and pick up my outfit and go to church and hear and praise and worship. I love getting down to the music. Um, the sermon, definitely. I love taking, I need to get more better at taking notes. But I do love taking notes on my phone, but I need to start using like pen and paper to start writing stuff down. And you know, getting to meet other people too, like socializing with um, my peers that are, yeah, basically everything. Um, next question is, if you could meet Jesus right now, what would your first question or action be? Honestly, action-wise, you know, bow down to my knees, like that's a serious, I couldn't even imagine, like getting to meet Jesus, like the one who basically took all my sins and down on the cross me, like it's just like, that's not even, it's something you can't even fandom, honestly. It's just like you would have to just worship at his feet, basically. And to be able to meet Jesus would have to be like an amazing encounter and I simply cannot wait till he returns to. Next question is, the oddest place that you have ever prayed? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I would probably, I would pray in my closet, but that's just for me to have privacy, honestly. So I guess that's an odd place. Uh, are you ready if you, no. Are you ready if Jesus were to come tomorrow? 
And that's a very intense, serious, like, thinking question. Honestly, no. I think that I still have a lot of work to do. I don't think I've met what I was supposed to do here on Earth. I don't think that my mission has been accomplished yet here on Earth. And I think that if I were to meet Jesus tomorrow, he'd probably be like, girl, I am a work in progress still, and I need to keep running towards my destiny and, you know, getting the job done. So, yeah. Um, so my last one is how do you openly share your faith? Um, honestly, people know that I am, I represent Christ. I love Jesus. I love going to church and I'm not ashamed of Christ. Like I used to be back in like middle school. I thought it was uncool to say that you're a Christian and be a Christian girl. And, you know, but I think once I graduated high school, I was like, you know, if you want to know more about Christ, let me know. I can hook you up. But I mean, honestly, for myself, I'm just a living vessel and I don't mind sharing the love of Jesus. I honestly know what God has done for me has been an amazing experience from since like I was young up until now. He has brought me through so much. So it's like there's no way that I can honestly deny Jesus at this point. So first month of December, I absolutely love Christmas. So I'm so excited. If you guys see my shirt, it says Jesus is the reason for the season. So if you guys want this shirt, I will link it down below and you guys can go ahead and buy it. It took like a month to get in, but I am extremely happy. I got it in a medium, so super cute. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And I hope to have more content coming very, very soon. And be sure to um, like and comment and subscribe. I know I'm just starting out, but you know, small YouTubers can... We can connect. Anywho, I will see you guys in my next vlog or video. Stay blessed.